Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I have been pining for. <laughs> that was so cheesy. <laughs> Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am starting a new vlog today. It is October. I cannot even believe I just said that out loud. That's so crazy. It's October. I love the month of October because it's the month that my husband and I got married. So that was 14 years ago and happy to say still going strong. <laughs> um, I don't feel like I have a ton going on today. I am let's see what time is it it's 8 45 so in about an hour i'm leaving to go get my hair blown out because it's wrecked it's just gross it's been a little bit over a week i i use redken dry shampoo which is awesome except it um it kind of builds up in the hair and makes it just really really thick feeling at the roots which is great because it dries up all the oil but then i'm left with this hair that looks like huge right here and it gets flatter over time because <laughs> I sleep on it so it's time I had an appointment to get it like trimmed today and I just decided I don't really need it cut again I want I want the length to grow but I will go get it blown out since I already had the time um, scheduled and the last time I was supposed to see my girl like there was some stuff going on some emergency stuff with her family and so I didn't get to see her so and I know that this is like, this probably won't go up for, my eye is so itchy today, sorry. I know this vlog, vlog probably won't go up for a minute, for a while, uh, but I just had my vlog sale go live yesterday, so I tried to do a vlog sale before, and then I had the emergency back in Dallas, so I had to go back to Dallas, so I had to pause that, which then people didn't um, respond to it, and now I've got it posted up, and got my blog sale going and so I've got one thing that is the um the rough and tumble boho bag no the rough and tumble breeze that I said I don't have listed anywhere but if you're interested reach out to me well on one of the rough and tumble groups um I there's a girl there that had one in black same same size everything same zip top closure which is what I love um she had a huge collection and she posted it up and I just said, man, I have one in the, the light style that I would really, I would really like to sell uh, because I would like one in black. I don't even care what kind of leather. Um, um, I just would like it in black because I'm not reaching for it in the light saddle, but I know it in black. And she said, send me a picture because maybe I'd be interested in uh, trading my black one because I never reach for it. She said she got it and she has never used it, which is exactly what I did with the light saddle. Um, so we're trading. So I need to go drop that off at USPS before I go to that hair appointment so that I know that it's in the system for today. And then I have, I have a couple things coming from Rough and Tumble today, which I'm super stoked about because, well, I don't have um, this one bag. It's the um, City Safari bag. I don't have one of those yet. And so this is the first one that I'm getting and it's the small size. And since I placed that order, it's one of their ones that they do like in production on the site. So I didn't have to like, I didn't have to go in and like custom build anything, but I still had to wait about the same time. Actually, I think it only took um five or six weeks because it's one that they do make pretty regularly. Um, that's my assumption anyway. So that's coming and I'll show you guys that when it comes. And then, and then also the elephant ear, I think it's a glasses, uh, what is that? Glasses and phone case or whatever. Why can't I remember things today? Yeah. Yeah. Glasses and phone case and elephant ear and the original city safari wax candle <laughs> wax canvas and leather small. Um, so I'll show you that when it gets here. And you know, I haven't owned that style and yet I already placed a custom order in that style and it's this purse because I wanted a black and brown purse because that's my jam. Um, so you've gotten a sneak peek of my custom that I have done. That should be here. You know, they quote you, I think six to eight weeks, sometimes eight to 10 weeks, which will put me into, when did I place that? Place it on September 3rd. So that is the, um, the most money that I've spent on a purse thus far. And part of this, cause it comes with that little like, um, elevation strap with it. I say it comes with it. I paid a little extra to get that elevation strap because it's a black strap and I can carry it with different things. I see girls on this these groups that I'm in that they, they carry their straps, like different color straps with different color purses, which feels so bold to me. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm like, 
I don't want to say matchy matchy, but kind of. Um, so it feels weird to do like different colors uh, with different color bags, I guess. But anyway, I feel like I'm all over the place this morning. It's because I haven't really drank my coffee yet. Anyway, so that's my big, um, my big day today is that I need to I drop that off at UPS, uh, USPS to the, the breeze. And then I need to go drop off a package of return to UPS and get my hair blown out, which is going to be really nice. It's going to feel so nice and clean. And then I will get that package today. And my husband and I have a couple errands that we either run today or tomorrow. Um, so I've told you guys a couple times that there's a project that we've been working on. We took on a little project and that is we bought a home and we're flipping it <laughs> up here in Michigan. And um, it has not gone how we thought it would. Um, we thought it would be a fun, like, oh, we could just, you know, do a few little updates, paint it, get it, like, get it good and put new light fixtures off and all that, right? Well, we get into it and we find that the subfloor is rotten in a few places. So he and I pulled all the carpeting out and you'll see all this in a video, but we pulled all the carpeting out and we saw the subfloor is number one, it's uneven. Instead of putting new subfloor in, like taking the old subfloor out, putting new subfloor in, previous owner decided to put just a piece of plywood on top of it, which then made the, the floor uneven in a few places, quite a few large places. So we pulled all the carpeting up, we pulled all the flooring up, which was the like vinyl rollout floor. Pull that out, um, had to pull up the tile that was, well, the laminate tile that was underneath it, the blue one that was over that, like, it was a whole thing. We had somebody come in and do the subfloor, so we're like, cool, good, we're good. No. As with any good HGTV show, you know that there's always something that goes awry. Um, so we got about two weeks into the project, I guess, and kind of decided when we found a f the flooding that was happening underneath it, um, my husband was like, all right, I'm done. Let's hire somebody because this was supposed to be a fun project and it's becoming like super, super annoying. You guys know the uh, book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, that was one of my favorite books growing up. Well, this is exactly that. You give a mouse a cookie. So we bought a home and we're going to do some updates to it. Next thing we know, well, why don't we pull this out? And then you find something else that has to be done and then something else and then something else that you want to do because that'll look good with the updates you just did. And, you know, it's just a whole thing. So we have somebody starting today. Um... That has been a super frustrating process as well, getting somebody in there because we've had two or three people now that have been slated to start by, I guess really by this week, but they were slated to start and they either like just stopped responding <laughs> to texts or one guy was just, I don't even know the exact wording he said because he sent it to my husband, but basically he was like, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I won't do it. Whatever the, whatever the text was, it was like, seriously, dude, like whatever. We hadn't paid him anything. So at least there was that. <laughs> um, so we have a guy that's supposed to start today, which is great because we just want to get it done and get it, you know, listed up. And we have flooring that needs to go in and we've rescheduled that two or three times because the project wasn't to a point where flooring could go in. So <laughs> we've had to reschedule that. And so once this piece gets done, then we'll be able to put in the, or have the flooring put in and then we can list it up which is going to be a really, really exciting, fun thing. Like it's going to look great. And when you guys see the before and afters, it's, it's just going to blow your mind. Um, so that's what we have a couple of errands to do for that. Whether we do that today or tomorrow, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but we do need to, um, we've bought bathtubs, new bathtubs, because both the bathrooms got totally gutted. So we've got new bathtubs for both bathrooms and we got them back to the house and opened them. They were like scratched and dented. So we took, we've taken one of them back and we kept one. I don't remember why. I think we thought maybe it would work, but it ended up not. And so we are taking that one back and we have two that have already been ordered and they're sitting at Home Depot ready to be picked up. So we've got to pick those up and then we will just store some of this stuff at the house for the guy to be able to put in and finish up these things. So he's doing, he's doing a lot, a lot of work. So just wait, you'll get to see the whole video, um, the befores and afters and all that. I just am trying to edit it down. I don't, it may need to be two parts or something cause it's going to be super long and I don't, I don't like super long videos, but oh, that is, that is the day that is today. So let me just show you real quick. Daisy do that is, um, she came in and she's sleeping in her bed, but she's like on the very edge. It's so cute. Look at her. 
Daisy Doo. What you doing? Hi, Bubby. You be on you gonna be on YouTube? Ugh. Yeah, so she's not really a morning dog, and I don't blame her. <laughs> So, so that's that. Then here's another fun thing. Like the last few weeks have been full of frustrations, but you know what? That's just life, right? That is just how it goes. So, um, my husband and I went and ordered, <laughs> this is a funny story. I'm going to try to be as concise as possible. Let me get a drink of coffee first. Yeah, that's my go-go juice. <laughs> okay. So we go to, in the middle of doing these renovations, we're like, Hey, there's an AT&T store. Let's go order our phones. Our phones are the 12 Pro Maxes. We've paid them off a while ago. And Truthfully, Apple just hasn't come out with any like amazing changes to their phones that we felt like we needed updated. However, this past year, uh, we've noticed that our phones have gotten slower. They get, they're more glitchy. Our um, typewriter keyboard is not, <laughs> typewriter, our keyboards aren't working correctly. So it's time to upgrade it. Cool. We'll wait until, we said, we'll wait until the 15s come out. So we both saw the 15s. We're going to get the 15 Pro Maxes. He's getting the 500 megabyte one or gigabyte one he's getting the 500 gigabyte one i'm getting the one terabyte one we go into at&t and we sit down and we order them and the guy's like cool here's what you'll get for your trade-in value here's what you'll get for your trade-in value which mine was way higher than we thought it would be because it's my back is totally cracked but it was we're like cool that's that's great like we'll take the higher amount it was more than apple was going to get us right but at&t wants you to go with them because they want to lock in your contract um we've been with at&t since Gosh, I was with AT&T when they were singular 20 plus years ago. <laughs> so the guy's like, cool, great. Here you go. This is all you have to pay is the tax. Great setup. Once it comes in, then you'll bring your phone in and give it to your old phone, give it to us and all will be well and you'll get that credit. We're like, cool. And he kind of guaranteed without guaranteeing that both phones would be in um, by like early October. Cool. So my husband's we get a thing that my husband's phone is on the way, but mine isn't. And we're like, mm, okay. And mine says it won't be here until like October, November. Well, that won't work because we won't be here. We'll be visiting family. So we're like, we go into AT&T and so we saw that we had given them the wrong address. That was the real kicker in this. We gave them the wrong address for delivery. So my husband goes in, we both go in and we're of the mindset like, they can just change it because UPS or uh, FedEx, who's coming here, you can usually just call the carrier and say, hey, it's the wrong address, I need to deliver it here. We tried, they said the shipper has to contact them. So we go to AT&T. Well, I had one frustrating day where I went to AT&T, I called their customer service, I chatted with them online. They all said they can't change the address because it's already um, in route. And because my phone hadn't shipped yet. And we're like, this just doesn't make sense. Probably like, we'll just go in store. And the thought is, again, we'll just have them change the address. So we go into the shipper. They said, sorry, there's nothing we can do. And the manager was there. And he was like, yeah, there's nothing I can do. I've tried before. They don't let us change the address. We're like, that just doesn't make sense. And he's like, well, that's how it is. So my husband and I just like continue to push a little. Like, there's like you're not even willing to try. He's like, because I've tried for other customers before. And my husband's like, like recently or a couple years ago. And he's like, oh, I mean, a couple of years ago or whatever, and my husband's like, "Are you? would you be willing to try again? Because sometimes policies change, which obviously a policy has changed since you can't change the address. Like, I've never known FedEx or UPS that you couldn't change the address. And he was like, all right, let me see what I can do. So he starts getting in contact, into contact with other managers. I guess they have like a text group. And then he calls somebody else. And basically they tell him, well, you can't change the address because one is already going. However, you can mark it as lost or stolen for my husband's phone. And um, we're like... Hmm, okay. And I just looked at my husband. I was like, just cancel mine and I'll order it another time. Like, it's not that big a deal. I'll get a new phone, right? And he's like, all right. So we have had things delivered to this wrong address once before because it is one that is like similar to where, like my, one that my husband has lived in before, like the address, right? So we go over to the lady's house. Well, no, sorry. So we're still at the AT&T store and they're like, all right, well, we can do that and we can cancel hers. So they can cancel mine out. I was like, yes, just cancel mine. And then my husband's will mark loss in transit. And we're like, just don't do that. We'll see if we can get in touch with that, the lady that's at the house and we will see if we can just pick it up from her. So we go there and the guy's like, cool, not marking it loss in transit. We've canceled yours, mine. Great. So we get over to her house and we're like, we're so sorry. Monday there's a delivery coming. And she was like, okay, no worries. Yeah, just come get it, whatever. So Monday comes, my husband goes to pick it up. He goes to set it up and it had been marked lost in transit. Lost or stolen in transit. Homeboy. Literally said, don't mark it. So my husband then called AT&T and they got, it, they got it figured out. But it was just like, man, this is like a frustration to go through AT&T to get your phone. However, 
the trade-in value was so much more than what it was going to be with Apple that it just made sense. So we're like, all right, is this frustration worth, worth the amount of money that we're getting for the phones? I don't know. I really can't give you an answer for that. But I went on Best Buy and saw that they would have one in by October 6th. So today is, like I said, the 2nd, right? Oh, I'm still in September. I'm like, it's a live, live calendar update. Yeah, today is the 2nd, Monday, October 2nd. So it should be in by Friday. Um, if it's not, I'm going to cancel it because we will be leaving. <laughs> and I'll get it in Dallas. Like, whatever. Um... Oh man, it's just been, it has been a month, really. Not bad, just some days more frustrating than others, you know? <laughs> so it's 9.05. I need to get my booty in gear so that I can go get my hair blown out in about an hour. And I will catch you in a little bit. Yeah, I told you I'd, tell, I'd show you when these uh, packages came and they just came. I'm really excited. So I'm going to open the littles first. Oh, hi, Daisy. Come on. No? Okay. Again, they're awesome packaging. I have fallen hard, hard for the slip cases. And I ordered a few more. So let's see. <laughs> this is it in the tourmaline, I believe. Sometimes you just want to try out a leather or a color, and doing it in a little is a really Good, easy idea. Okay, this is it in the pine, which I have been pining for. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Uh, I've been wanting to try something in that because I really, really, um, I'm pretty certain I want a purse in that color at some point. I don't know, this is the black cherry. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. This style and like, they're just so awesome. Okay, yeah, so this is the tourmaline, the pine, the black cherry and mahogany like that's the mahogany the double gilded mink which i have a um i can never remember the name of it but i have another pouch the like top lined pouch or whatever in this and i really like these these colors in the littles i think they're so cute and then this is the falcon and i got this one because i have a purse that's coming in the falcon color already like i just dove in um it's the one that i ordered for my mom and myself the little book bag that it's going to be in the falcon it should be ready kind of at any point um and so i just kind of wanted to see it in person but also i i you can never go wrong with like a black mini anything so these five and i thought these would be so great for winter anyway they're just such good winter colors look at those oh my gosh they're so pretty okay so those are all the slip cases I got. I love the slip cases. They're just so good and so easy. So this is the bigger. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so excited and so nervous to open a purse. <laughs> Not in a long time anyway. So let me go get the name of it just so I have it right. I'm pretty uh, famous for misspeaking and saying the wrong <laughs> thing. By the way, I got my hair blown out. Isn't that nice? And then I'll put waves in it. Um, okay. So this is the, oh, there's two things in it. I forgot. See, it's even better when it takes a minute to get to you because you kind of forget what you ordered. But this, these I have been waiting on. And actually I have two orders that I placed prior to this order um, that, oh man, that haven't come in yet and I'm just waiting. I'll show you guys an app that I have on my phone that somebody in one of these groups talked about a similar app and I didn't get that app because I didn't want to pay for it, but I, got, I found this free app and it counts up like the amount of days that you've been waiting for something, or you can do a countdown to what you're waiting for, like maybe a vacation or something. This is the glasses and phone case in elephant ear, which I love elephant ear. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's such a, this piece is such a good consistent veining all the way through. And these are such great cases for, I mean, obviously your glasses or sunglasses, but you can use them for a catch all or a pencil case, anything you want. So I love, love elephant ear. So this, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is the original City Safari. I'm gonna be changing into this. 
It's in the waxed canvas and leather small. It's the small. Um, it's olive waxed canvas and distressed espresso and vintage brown straps. So distressed espresso, vintage brown, and the olive waxed canvas. So the reason this is such a big deal for me is because I ordered this <laughs> and then I ordered a custom order of a city safari having never tried the the style before but what i love is that it has the zipper top i've learned i really love the zipper top it feels so secure um and then it has these two zipper um uh the zipper pockets on the front and so i like that so you can do a quick quick grab for your phone then on the inside i've got a little stuff oh my goodness um it does come with a keychain because it has just the one on that end then on the inside it's pockets within pockets within pockets so you've got a zip pocket right here and then on this side you've got the pockets and then the interior pockets of those pockets which i absolutely love and there's two of those and then that keychain and all as well man this is a this is a good green so i'm really excited because i did a custom city safari in a large and i was like well i'm just gonna go for it and i did a brown bottom and a black top so i've got a brown and black i'll show you guys when it comes in but i I love that. I really wanted a, like a green something in my collection, like purse or whatever. And so, I mean, this doesn't match it exact, but this is a little shinier and this is a wax canvas. So it's not a shiny, but isn't it so pretty? <laughs> oh my gosh. I hadn't, I truly have not been this excited for purses in a long time. I got really bored with like Louis Vuitton and they kept coming out with, like Louis Vuitton still is coming out with um, different different and they're not even coming out with different designs they're just adding things to the designs they already had and I just don't love what they've been coming out with so as you guys know I sold all that um if there were one purse that I was gonna get again from Louis Vuitton okay if there were two purses I was gonna get again from Louis Vuitton it would be the Dame Eben Speedy 25 I want to go for the 20 I love the 20 but the 25 is so versatile you can use it you know to carry a whole bunch or really nothing and the speedy 20 was always a little tight for my daily needs um and i like to have the option to carry a little bit more if i need to so this, and then i would get the neverfull mm probably in the monogram because that was like the first tote that i ever saw that i just i wanted so bad so that's my haul for today from rough and tumble <laughs> oh my gosh um let me kind of insert some footage here of that like count up thing. It's not really footage, but I'll just show you like the, the, the way it kind of works. So you can do this and you can do countdowns or you can do count ups or you can show all. So if you have countdowns and like keeping track of count ups, <laughs> um, then you can see them all in that. And what's great about that is that you can like for rough and tumble, they have in production dates that are like eight to 10 weeks, six to eight weeks, whatever. So right now on a couple of mine, you can see like they are, um, 60 plus days out which means that it's been about two months about eight weeks so that's great because i know that the in production time was supposed to be somewhere between six and ten weeks so i can go back and check and if i need to or want to i could call them or email them and just see where it is in production so i thought that was such a genius idea and you can like list them all out um by name and you could do order number if you wanted to but i don't know the order numbers for everything i have to look it up every time so really excited about that i have about seven or eight orders that are like Place and I'm just waiting for them to get made and I'm so excited I'm so excited so that was my haul I hope you guys enjoyed that so I wanted to tell you like I freaking love this sling um I I have a video about it coming out or that has already come out um and in it I kind of mentioned like oh I think there's a leather version of this but it's not called this it is it's called the tuck sling here's a picture of it um in I think for this video I'm trying to remember to go and actually put that in the comments because I did find it and um I just wanted you guys to have access to, you know, everything that I talked about. But <laughs> let me just tell you right now, if you are not on Facebook or you're not in these rough and tumble groups, but you're loving rough and tumble, go get in these groups. For the love of rough and tumble, the original rough and tumble fan group, the rough and tumble customized, those are the top three groups that I would recommend because they are amazing, but there are so many out there. Um, but the buy sell trade of those groups is so awesome. That's where I have like swapped my breeze, my medium sized breeze from a light saddle. I swapped it with somebody for a black, it's called alpha black. Um, and I don't have that yet, it's on the way. So I am super stoked about that because I definitely reach for like black purses more. But I like to mix it up and have some brown purses and the light saddle color is so beautiful, but I've got two um, 
Yeah, I've got two. I've got the East West Boho in medium and I've got the uh, little book bag in medium, both on light saddle. So I've got that color covered, right? Um, I, if I could, I'd have every bag in every color because they're so gorgeous. But go check those those groups out. If you're wanting to learn more about Rep and Tumble or if you're wanting to um, find some like purses maybe for a deal or you're wanting to try out a style, like there are people that are doing these stashes on there all the time and they're doing everything's $200 and under and you're talking for a $500 bag, it's $200 and under. It's just a sale video. So but be forewarned, you will spend money on those groups. So just know that. Um, but yeah, what a great, what a great haul. I'm so excited. So I'm actually going to swap my bag right now. Let me actually set you guys up over here and swap it with you. Okay, so once again, my tripod is being funky. So this is the angle I can get without this completely just like falling down. Uh, but I do, I did order a new tripod. So that's the last time hopefully you'll hear me say that. So this is the um, City Safari in the small in the wax canvas, the olive wax canvas and the distressed espresso and then the vintage brown um, everything else like the strap and the little piece of leather here. It is the double zip on the front exposed zipper. Um, and yeah. So this is the um, wax canvas sling, and I do I have been keeping a couple things in these front pockets, which I forgot to show you guys that like like this little notebook that's right there in that pocket, so beautifully. Um, and then let's see what I got what I got in here, and what we're gonna trade it into. <laughs> so let me grab my oh let me go grab my iPad. Hang on. Okay, so I went and grabbed my iPad so you could see the iPad fit in there, and it does fit, and it closes with it standing upright. And then, does it fit horizontally? It does fit horizontally, but makes it tight, and it's not going to be, like, nearly as slouchy. So if I were going to carry my iPad in it, it would definitely be vertically like that. Um, still won't be as slouchy, but that's okay. For kicks and giggles, like you guys know I like to do, there's my, my MacBook Pro you know, 13 inch in there. And that is not going to, I mean, you could carry like that, but it's not going to close. So at least you have that. Um, so right now my daily carry stuff, uh, this like notepad and then this, um, agenda planner that sometimes I carry with me. Sometimes I don't, it does make it a tighter fit already. Get out of the way, Tuxley. <laughs> Uh, it does make it a tighter fit already, and like I said, it's not something that I am carrying on the daily, but I just wanted you, again, to see those fit in there. And then here's what I've been carrying, so. All right, so I can get you more centered, focused on that. So there's all that. If I was going to carry one thing, I don't know, I guess it would probably just be the day planner for right now because I could get a smaller notebook. And then I've been carrying this slipcase, which is in the, oh, I think the August read, or is that the hay? I'll have to look, but I've been carrying that in there. I've been carrying this in the Gilded Mink. That's that um, top-lined pouch and that fits right in there. And this is the, ooh, I can never remember the name of it, but it's another slipcase. And this is what I've just been carrying, like, my lipsticks and stuff in. Oh, it's so pretty. That I think that unlined interior is so pretty. And that's just been going right down in there, right? And so then if I wanted to, I could carry, like, my AirPods right there in that front, my Beats here in the front as well. Don't ask me why I carry two pair, I just do. <laughs> and then my keys and stuff can go in the, that back pocket back there. I don't tend to carry a lot in like the front pockets, but I can carry like my pen in one of those, let me turn on this so you can see better. One of those interior, interior pockets. I can carry that pen. I can carry a, oh, well, I can't because it doesn't go down far enough. It would have to be in this pocket and a nail file and actually that's my old nail file but it's not quite done yet but i like a glass nail file better i don't know where i got this holder but i've had it forever so that can all fit right there i've got hand sanitizer that can fit right there my upcycled louis vuitton card case card holder can go in that pocket and i think last but not least is this like medicine um, holder and that can go in there and then my sunglasses. I have them in there today? Yeah. My sunglasses fit right there. So while all that fits, it's definitely a tight fit. It does still close. But I do not carry this on the daily. Um, so with that in there, that all fits in there great. But I do think that the large size is going to be an even better fit. Um, and then I've been carrying this little notepad around because I've been keeping notes of um, Daisy as we started her on some new medication. So there is the what fits in my new city safari small it is so pretty 
Oh, all right, I'm looking a little worse for the wear today, but that's okay. I am just adjusting this backpack. Oh, I guess I'm adjusting it into the backpack style. I'm not quite used to doing this yet, so it takes me, I think, longer than it takes most people. Just for some reference, I'm five foot three. This is it at its longest, so it sits a little lower than I would normally have it sit. I'd normally sit it up here on my hip. Let's do it backpack style, shall we? So let's throw that on. I think it's nice and slouchy. It sits nice. I know that it's secure because it's zipped up, which is really, really nice. And when I take it off like a backpack like that, it doesn't all just spill out because it is zipped up. And then if I was gonna length, uh, shorten it. Give me a break, I'm slow with this, okay. <laughs> If I wanted to do carry like that, I could, or I can shorten it even more. So you got some nice options with this purse. Love it. Oh, okay, you guys, so I went to the gym last night. Yes, I'm still wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I went and worked out, and then um, I came home, watched ER, and then passed out and went to bed. So <laughs> um, that's just where I'm gonna end the vlog today. <sighs> I can't, that purse is so good. Let me, let me grab it. No, wait, it's right here. <laughs> oh my word. This purse is just so good. It's so cute. I did not carry it to the gym because I actually carry my Longchamp bag. Let me grab that. I carry my Longchamp bag as my gym bag right now and it is working out so well. So that's kind of, that's kind of it for me on this vlog. I guess I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. And all of that. So I have to do that. And then it's Daisy, Daisy, hey. And also the elephant ear for the lap of. <laughs> Sorry. I have some things coming from Rough and Tumble today. And I will catch you next.